So here we are now looking at new features coming down the track with uh, the Lynx 4 software. Now one of the new buttons that we see is now this button here which represents two users and if I press this button here you'll see that now we have a split screen capability. At this point must be stressed that you do need obviously to be connected to a device which also in its hardware has the ability to do a split screen dual functionality. So now if I come to the board I've got the option on either side to change the colours and widths of my pens. If two users now come to the screen then simultaneously they can start working such as this here. And using the buttons at the bottom we can then for example go to new page and the teacher may want to set up a screen such as this and then as a race against time, for example, the students can come up to the board and simultaneously they can try and write and see who gets the answer in the quickest time. The second change that I'd like to bring your attention to is the change in the look of one of the buttons. Um, we now have this little button with a picture of um, a camcorder effectively. And when I press the button here, it automatically operates and launches um, whichever camera type you have connected to your computer. I'm just operating at the moment with my um, inbuilt webcam and it brings up uh, whatever document camera or whatever camera device you have attached. So before it was a picture of something that looked like a security camera, now it looks more like um, a little webcam device. So just a change in feature. The next change I want to bring to your attention is the flowchart mode. The flowchart mode here was available only in the Lynx Lite version, but now we have it in full Lynx, and this of course allows us to bring in an unfilled shape, and by doing a double click, it allows me to insert text into a box, and also now it allows me to move the box with the text connected. So that feature now and button is available and for use within full Lynx as well as Lynx Lite. What I'm going to do now is demonstrate the ability to open lesson plans that have been created in other software packages within the Lynx 4 software itself. What I've actually done, I've created a few slides or a lesson plan in Smart Notebook 10 software. And when I've gone to save it, I've gone up to File, Export as CFF, Common File Format type of file, and it's saved on my desktop there as CFF.test. .iwb file. What I'll now do, I'll open my Lynx software and I'll go to File, Open. Now I've saved this on the desktop. I scroll down to find that file, there it is, and I say Open. There was only three slides, but that has, is a lesson plan created in Smart Software that I've now been able to open within my Link software. Common file format. The final piece of information that I need to give you is with regard to the driver for the Cleverboard Dual product. As we now know, the Cleverboard Dual has um, a serial number over 1000 and also the red dot placed on the frame, signifying that the Cleverboard Dual now has dual, i.e. two-touch capability. The new driver has the same icon which lives in the taskbar, so it's the white square with Cleverboard Dual written on it. However, now when we simulate a right mouse click over the Cleverboard Dual icon, I'm presented with the screen as above. The top calibration setting here allows me to calibrate in single-touch mode. And scrolling down, I'm able to select multi-touch if I want to use the board in its dual touch capability. And I have a separate multi-touch calibrate button there. This now allows the board to be used in single touch or dual touch mode and allows it to be calibrated in either mode to a better degree of accuracy.